In the electrical and computer engineering department at Waterloo, our team of lab instructors are always hard at work, developing new and exciting labs for our undergraduate students. One of the recent offerings is a semiconductor fabrication lab, which is part of ECE 331. In this exciting lab, students work in a clean room environment to turn a silicon wafer into MOSFETs and diodes. Through hands-on experiences, students learn the steps of semiconductor fabrication, including thermal oxidation, lithography, etching, doping, metal deposition, and other steps used to fabricate semiconductor materials. Bahara, the lab instructor who developed this exciting new lab, has spent years teaching students the ins and outs of clean room techniques and how they are applied in industry. This is a wafer full of MOSFET that the students fabricated in the lab, and at the end of the course, each group can take it with them. With close collaboration, the ECE 331 course and lab materials were designed to complement one another and provide both the theory and practical aspects of semiconductor process techniques. Professor William Wong designed the lectures to include the background information students need to understand and be successful in the lab. I'm really excited about the labs for this course, and I know the students are too. It's pretty cool to be able to fab and test semiconductor devices in a clean room environment. With this new lab, the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Waterloo continues its commitment to high-quality lab experiences. ECE 331 is part of the Electrical Engineering curriculum and is offered as an elective for both 3B computer and electrical students. If you're an ECE student entering 3B and are interested in semiconductor physics, then this course may be for you. Register early to beat the enrollment cap. Electrical and Computer Engineering at Waterloo. Better labs, better courses.